we are taking a trip up to Roshanikra and Akko and we rented a car. I really hope it's not that awful green one over we there. We just stopped in an Arab neighborhood to go to use the washroom and it wasn't scary it's only at all. Arrived. This behind me is the Mediterranean oh, Sea coffee. and it's beautiful. I was actually here eight years ago and it's much different. It's much more um, built up than it was. going to watch a movie that's going to explain to us what this whole site is about and it's actually in an old on old train tracks you can see here I'm walking on the train tracks they're old train tracks that the British used back in like 48 and she was also videoing so that's cute and we're gonna have a competition again to see whose video is better cave bridge and then another cave all the way at the end there. That's the cable car we took down. Here's the first grotto. We're gonna walk carefully because it's slippery it's wet. It's so clear. I wanna go swimming. Can we go swimming? Oh my god, it's beautiful. This is the mouth of the cave. More grotto. It's called the same one over there. Right there. This is where we came from, like on the other side. We're looking at that before. Yes. They are higher gothics. My favorite thing to do in caves is yell echo. So we're gonna do it together on the count of three. One, echo, two, go. three. Echo! echo. Different creations you're supposed to, you know, there are special breathwork to say. So one of them is for this sea here, the Mediterranean Sea. So we are going to say the breath out together when she is ready. Her camera. <laughs> Ready? Go. Bara, Atta Adonai, Elohinu Malcha Alam, Shasa Et Hayam Hagadol. We're trying to figure out what type of rock this is. It's it's very interesting looking. I'm not sure what it is. Meira. Yeah. That's food. <laughs> all right. This rock though, we actually don't know what it is, and it's all embedded in this entire white stone. So basically, the entire place is white stone whatever it is with black stones black stones interesting because it's different than the white stone. and fishing boats down there in the distance i don't know if it's a fishing boat but it's a boat i'm gonna say it's a fishing boat and there's fish out here there are fish there are sea turtles there's giant squids oh my gosh oh my gosh pigeons Woo! they're so cute it's the hyrexes oh at the information booth and the guy who works here looks like my father so we're gonna go ask him some questions excuse me sir yes do you do you, can you tell me just a quick summary of the history of this place? Yes, it, it's a very, very historical place. That's very good. Good to know. Yes. Thank you. Yes, happened a long, long time ago. All right. It's nice to okay. meet you, sir. Okay. Bye. Bye. We are approaching the border of uh, Lebanon. For, we're not allowed to video, picture it, so I'm not going to pick a picture of it. No, it says here, Asur Lathalem. Um, yeah, so we're approaching the border and it's really cool and here we are right behind me is the border between here and Lebanon Cool, we're gonna touch it Nature Park <laughs> They sound like an Australian tour guide. This is oh, Vic's yum. vapor rub. Oh, so you rub it in your fingers <laughs> and You smell it and it just like clears your nose your this, is, this is it. It's like, oh, it's really good Mmm you should smell, you smell it. it. Come on! Oh, there he goes, jumping away. We've got some squirrels. You don't see them very often in Israel. Here we've got just a whole sermon of bird birds. Here's some goats and sheep. Look at all these little creatures. Ducks and swans. It's a baby! It's probably just a little shot. <laughs> Here's a lemur behind an electric fence. And this is a peacock. We've got a tortoise, adex, and here comes the ostrich. Look at him, powerful looking creature. Hi. Hello, oh hi. It's cool, huh? We're in Akko, a coastal city just south of Roshanikra, and we're now in 
Templar tunnels. That's a stronghold that belonged to the knights that came to have filled, uh, usually filled the temple. The tunnels, we tried to find the citadel, and the people who run the place tried to give us directions, right, left, wherever we walked through the shook, found the harbor, and all sorts of places. And we kind of lost where we were going. We were lost for what, about half an hour? No, maybe 15 minutes. Half an hour, okay. We were lost for about half an hour. And we finally find a sign that says Mitsuda this way. We find it, it's back to where we started. <laughs> we went in a circle. Citadel of the Temple Knights, Templar Knights. So it's very nice here. Um, I'm gonna assume that the top stuff is original and that it went much farther down because they didn't build short things back then. Just uh, some view. Seatings, arches, prison hall. I was expecting some like shackles on the walls and cells and deeper in the ground more. We're doing it so you get to see them. It does put shackles up for you. Yeah, they're renovating now. The rack. I'll put a rack up. Oh god. Dining halls. <laughs> With original wood flooring. Can't see it. Original wood flooring. Look at the nice tallness. Ooh. Going through a very small cave, we have to crouch and squeeze by the walls. It's a tunnel, not a cave. As usual, we are exiting in the gift drop. Turns on, kind of, sort of, not really, but still really getting lost. We finally made our way back to the car, to the parking lot. We know where we are, so that's good. Here's where we started. That little place right there. And here's our car. Here's the lighthouse and uh, the port wharf. I don't know, let's see, it's nice. It's cute here. I had my first shawarma tonight and it was delicious. Mm -hmm.